Let's look at a sheet of tissue called the thoracolumbar fascia. The thoracolumbar fascia is a posterior sheet of fascia that sits between my thoracic area and my lumbar area. It's central and it comes reasonably wide. The thoracolumbar fascia surrounds the psoas major muscle. As we can see here with our line, it also surrounds quadratus lumborum. So it's sitting very, very deeply. It surrounds erector spinae and multifidus muscles. And it's joined onto by my transverse abdominus muscle group. So it's a pretty big sheet of fascia. Now the thoracolumbar fascia has lots of directions of fibre in it. Like the fibre directions in my shirt. Each little fibre ends up being woven into a tough material that's got strength and some elasticity. So if I look here at the thoracolumbar fascia, what I notice is the thoracolumbar fascia acts as a muscle attachment site. And in particular, my gluteus maximus muscle, which we can see here, has a fibrous attachment directly onto the thoracolumbar fascia. And if we look at that attachment, we'll see that the fibre direction of gluteus maximus runs up into the thoracolumbar fascia and that, that direction actually crisscrosses to the other side. So my left gluteus maximus crosses via fibres in the thoracolumbar fascia to go all the way up diagonally towards my right shoulder. And in fact what happens, if we look at a picture here of latissimus dorsi, is that the fibres from glute maximus end up going in the same direction as the fibres of latissimus dorsi on the opposite side. So latissimus dorsi on the right attaches to the thoracolumbar fascia and the fascia continues the attachment all the way down to the left glute maximus muscle. And this allows my gluteal muscles to interact across the midline with my lat dorsi muscles. So gluteus maximus can assist lat dorsi on the opposite side and lat dorsi can assist glute on the opposite side, with the fascia in between carrying the elastic energy or the stored energy between the two. And in fact, they can interact in a way where the fascia loads up and releases force, just like a slingshot. And that slingshot action of these muscles interrelating with each other is what we call the posterior at the back, oblique diagonal sling the posterior oblique sling.